Hey guys, it's me Sam and this video is going to be my thoughts and opinions on Primark's PS Contour Kit, which is this gorgeous product here. Now this retails, as you can see from the front of the packaging, for a mere £4. This gem of a product is just too good to be true. As you can see from the outer packaging, you've got a nice black box. You've got a little bit of an example there in the corner to show you how to use it. It does also state on the front that it comes with a free contour brush included. I'll talk more about that a little bit further on. And then on the back, you've got a bigger picture showing you how to use, to use the product. I'm just going to take it out of the box and that is what the actual contour kit looks within it as you can see it's very sturdy looking packaging black in shape and to me it looks very very similar to smashbox contour kits it's going to open it up to show you the product within it and yes there is me hello and as you can see it contains a good sized mirror and also within it you get another little leaflet that shows you how to use the kit which I think is a really really good idea it's perfect for those of you that are new to contour kits and aren't really 100% sure and how to use them now as just stated it does come with a brush within the box as well which is this little thing here I'm just going to take it out of its packaging just to show you a closer look of it I have to admit guys it's not one that I would personally use myself for contouring maybe for highlighting it might be good for that maybe not I don't know I just find it too flimsy and way too soft when I'm contouring you know you want to it could be all right I might have to give it a go at some point just to see if it works or not let's give it a quick trial run Obviously, I will also show you me using the product very soon, but let's just give it a quick go, see see how this works. If I just put a little bit down the side of my nose. No, because I don't find it's even picking up the product, to be honest. No, the brush is definitely a big no-no for me. I mean, other people might disagree, but at the same time, it, it is a good thing that they've included a little brush for you guys. I've never used a contour kit before, so you might not even have a brush um, like the one I'm going to be showing you now. Right, well, I guess I better show you how to use this kit. Um, a lot of people have got their own ways of how they contour and highlight. I have my own way. So when I contour and highlight, I, I don't go to OTT. I just go for a nice, soft contour and highlight. So that's what I'm going to show you. The first thing I'm going to do is obviously contour my features. Some people will contour the whole features, like down the side of their nose and the jawline or whatever else. I don't always tend to do that. And as I've gone for quite a... I won't say natural because it's definitely not natural, not that bright fuchsia on my eyes. I'm just going to go for a natural locking contour today. So first shade I'm going to use, obviously, is the contour shade. And the brush I'm using is from Studio, and it's their contour brush, I believe. That I picked it from my local, well, not from my local Superdrug. I bought it from the Superdrug down in Worcester, or one of them, because I'm those two in city so uh, what I tend to do is I look for the top of my ear and I find the line coming underneath my jaw and I just bring that shade not all the way down you don't want to bring it all the way down otherwise you look like an idiot so I just tend to bring it about halfway I'm just going to make it a little bit darker so you can see where I am applying it So I'm going to do the same on the other side. I mean, I've watched other people's contour and highlighting 
tutorials and some of them really like put loads on like loads I know it's all the trend at the moment the Kim Kardashian look and all that when I say that well Kim Kardashian doesn't even do her makeup like that anymore even I'm a little bit about that so then the next area I tend to concentrate on is around the top of my forehead because as you can tell one has a humongously sized forehead and because of the way I've got my hairstyle today it's off my face so you can see it's quite large so by contouring around the outer edge it's kind of like reducing the size of it apparently that's what they're saying I don't know I just go for it and then finally I'm just going to contour underneath my jawline and I slightly bring it just underneath this area because one's got a double chin. I think it's because of all the pies I've been eating over Christmas. So bring that under like that. I'm just going to take this brush and I'm just going to start to blend that in. Like I said, people have got their own ways of their contour and how they like to do it. This is my way. Right, I'm now going to move on to the highlighting side of things. So, obviously, we're going to be using this yellow powder. And I'm just going to take my Makeup Revolution highlighting the brush. I love this brush, it's so cute. So cute. And what I tend to do is I obviously I dip it, the brush into the product. And because I want to find where the light naturally hits my face, which is here, that's where I tend to concentrate. I don't really like these highlights that you can get that have like loads of shimmer in them. I just want enough to be able to emphasise that area. So let's just do the other side as well. Now I would highlight my brow bone, but as you can see, one was already done I eye makeup, so I don't actually need to do that today. So the next step I'm going to take is that I take the tip of my middle finger, I put it into the product. I'm just going to bring that down the centre of my nose and get a bit more over my cupid's bow just to emphasise it a little bit more. I'm just going to put a tiny bit on my chin as well. And the one place I do tend to avoid putting highlighter is underneath my eyes because I tend to use my Maybelline under eye concealer for that because it's quite light and I find that if I put powder underneath my eyes these days it kind of like settles into the lines, creases and you can see the lines even more than you would normally so I tend to stay away from that and then finally just to add a bit of warmth to the colour I'm going to take the bronzer which is in the middle because obviously I've done the rest of my makeup I was waiting to do the contour and highlighting I'm going to use the bronzer to add a little bit of colour to the rest of my face really just to warm it up and to transition those colours together so I'm going to take this brush again from Makeup Revolution as well. Just dip it into the bronzer and I'm just going to apply that to my cheek area. Just going to bring it slightly over my forehead as well, just add a bit more pop of colour. Just going to do the same on the other side. And then that's the application done. Now that you've seen me using the products, I suppose I'd better talk a little bit more about the actual products. As you can see, you get three of them. You've got a contour, a bronzer and a highlighter. And the three shades consist of this mid-brown here, which as you can clearly see is perfect for contouring with. You've got the medium warm brown in the middle, which you use as the bronzer and also it's ideal for adding warmth to the face as well which is one of the reasons why I haven't used anything else other than those three today and then on the end 
finally you have the pigmented yellow powder which is the highlighter now all three of these powders are incredibly pigmented they have a good texture to them before you saw me using them on my face I'm just going to quickly do a swatch so you can see what the products actually look like and if you can it's picking it up on the camera well, obviously that's the contour that's the bronzer and then you've got the highlighter at the end here blended in not bad at all otherwise to be perfectly honest i wouldn't use the product full stop as they are all matte uh, this allows you to build up the colour intensity to the amount that you require. And as I stated when I was applying it to my face, that's my way of applying it to my skin. I don't like to use loads because obviously I'm very pale. So if I was to put too much on, I'd just look like a clown. But then there are others out there, as I've stated, that do use a hell of a lot more products than myself. But that's their individual taste. All in all, I have to give this product a 4 out of 5. And the reason why I'm only giving it a 4 out of 5 is because I don't like the brush. That's it. Because I would definitely buy this product again in the future. And I have to admit, even though I've only used a few of Primark's makeup products, they are really, really impressing me. The quality is pretty, pretty good. I'm, I'm now determined to try more of their makeup products so I'm, I'm looking forward to doing so and I'm also looking forward to doing reviews as well for you guys to give me, you my thoughts and opinions on them when that's going to happen I'm not 100% sure because obviously my nearest Primark is either in Worcester or up in Birmingham or over in Redditch so I have to travel a bit of a distance to get to those stores but I am planning on visiting Primark very very soon even if it's just for one last final splurge on myself before my runny runs out uh, at the moment I, I don't have a job for those of you that didn't know that I've been made redundant so I'm currently unemployed and I'm currently looking for a new job uh, so yeah oh money's gonna try and last me a little bit if not, it's it's back on benefits, which I don't really, really want to do. Uh, yeah, so those are my thoughts. Those are my opinions on Primark's contour kit review. If, like myself, you're not mega rich, you can't afford to go out and buy all these fancy, pantsy brand contour kits, then give Primark's one a go. Honestly, you will be so, so surprised by the quality of it. I have to admit... I was a bit dubious, but my God, I ate my words very, very quickly because I love this palette. Thank you as always for watching. If you've got any questions you would like to ask me, please feel free to do so by leaving them down below in the comments. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are interested in watching more of my videos, don't forget to subscribe to me, guys. As I've already said, Please do keep your eyes peeled for more reviews, more day in the life vlogs, more shopping hauls, as long as I can afford to do so. <laughs> um, that, that I'm really looking forward to doing more for you guys this year. I kind of like neglected you really, really badly last year. I think it's basically because I did let my job, I let my job take over my life too much and I really shouldn't have done so seeing as I gave me the boots in the end, didn't they? So, mmm. Right, thank you again for watching, you take care and I shall see you all soon, until then, bye for now.